Hey, welcome to Stillness in the Storms podcast. I'm Stephen Webb, your host, and I help you to have some inner peace when you need it most and you have it least. On today's podcast, we're talking about what's important in life and how we can make a difference. Very often with everything that's going on in the world, with politics and with natural disasters and things like that, we really get into this rut of what can I do? There's nothing I can do. There's no point. So we end up feeling like we're useless, feeling like, what's the point? So we go into this place of nihilism that just makes us feel that we're not capable of making a change in the world, not capable of doing anything. And when you talk about people that when they're nearly at the end of their lives and you ask them what's important to them, and they ask questions like, did I love well? Was I kind? Um, How will I be remembered? Did I leave the planet in a better way than it was before? And it's those kind of questions that I want to answer on today's podcast. The big thing with this is it doesn't have to be grand gestures. I was, I was woke up in the night the other night with the cat jumping around, making lots of noise. And it was about two o'clock in the morning and I turned the light on and the cat would freeze. And I would go back to try to go back to sleep, turn the light off. And then about a half an hour later, I would hear the cat jumping around again. I would turn the light on and the cat would like sit down, do nothing. And then I seen a little something black just run across the floor and I clicked. The cat had brought in a mouse. Now, I don't know whether she was trying to do something to it or play with it or I, I don't know. So I called my carer down, Beth come down and I, I explained to Beth there's a mouse in here somewhere. And she started to move everything out of the way and we eventually found it in behind the computer and we put it into a bowl. I say we, I lied in bed because I'm paralyzed. So so she was on her own with this. The only thing I could do is kind of tell her if I seen it. So we put the cat out of the way. We eventually found it behind the computer and she put it into a plastic container. So she went up in the kitchen. I wonder what she'd done with it. And it was about 20 minutes. And then she come back down to me and she said, well, I think the mouse will be okay. And I said, okay, what do you do? She goes, well, I'd given it some water and it drunk quite a bit. I put some sugar in the water to help it with any shock that it may have. And it drunk it out the spoon three times. I took it up the end of the road and I just let her out and I watched it while it ran away underneath the bush. But no, that's the way we make the world a little better. By doing little acts of kindness like that, that act alone has improved the universe. It doesn't have to be a great big grand act. And you think about that mouse. What difference is made to that mouse? Okay, we don't know what happened to it next, and we could go into a story of that. But let's just focus on what was done and what we do know. And what we do know is the mouse did not suffer any more that night. Thank you, Mitzi. But please don't bring in any more mice. I don't know why I'm telling her. She doesn't even listen to the podcast. The problem is we have this huge pressure of doing something grand doing something huge. And we really don't have to do anything huge. Just those little things again and again and again makes a big difference. And I've got another carer, Kate, and we were out walking the dog one day and there was a bee on the ground. Kate picked it up and she put it on a leaf and she put it up on the hedge. So the sun was able to warm its wings up and after a little bit it started moving its wings and then it flew off. The chances are it got caught in a cold wind or a cold area while it was collecting the pollen in order to make honey. I'm not an expert on bees, but I think that's what they do. And when they get really cold, they can't flap their wings as well. So they end up lying on the floor. Now then, the best case scenario is in that, that the sun finds them and allows them to fly back the next day. Or, But very often they all land and people will think they're dead. Or That bee got a new lease of life and hopefully it flew all the way home. And again, that changed the world. And I'm going to share another story. Jack Cornfield says about when he was with a teacher one day and he was sitting there and a fly was in his tea. And he was sitting there thinking, no, I'm going to be calm. I'm going to allow that fly to, I'm not going to be agitated by it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit here and allow that fly not to bother me. It's okay. It's just tea. It's just a fly. It's just what it is. I need to just remain calm 
And whether his teacher noticed him or something, but his teacher came over to him and said, what's up? What's going on? So, well, I've got a fly in my tea, but it's okay. I'm accepting. I'm okay with it. And the teacher put his finger in the cup of tea, got the fly out and disappeared out of the room. And they carried on doing their chanting and whatever they were doing. And then a little while later, he came in really happy, like really, really upbeat. Well, later that day, Jack Cornfield caught up with him and looked up and said, I cannot help to be inquisitive, but why did you come back in the room so happy? And he said, well, you know that fly? I took him out and I dried him off on the side. And once he was dry, we warmed him up and all that. And it just flew away. The fly's going to be fine. And this is a good, this is a good thing about trying to improve the world as well as trying to accept the world. We don't have to accept everything just as it is. Buddhism and being, finding inner peace and having stillness is not about, okay, I just accept all the bad things that are happening. No, it's about being calm and okay with them happening and knowing what you can do something about. Now then, remaining calm is admirable, it's amazing, well done. You remain calm when your tea could have been potentially ruined. However, what a better outcome to save the fly and enjoy your cup of tea. So this is about spiritualism. Is It's not just about remaining calm. I'm angry, but I can deal with my anger. You know, I'm sad or shamed right at this minute, but I can deal with that. It's not about that. It's not about just remaining calm. It's about giving back, improving the world in little ways you can. It could be like Tony Robbins does with all the free meals that he, he said he was going to give a billion or a million free meals or something like that. And I think he surpassed it already, miles surpassed it. Um, so whatever you're doing, don't look at those little things as, well, what can I do? But you can do many, many little things every single day. So it's not about thinking that I've got to do grand gestures and these really big, big grand things in order to make the world a better place you don't every single kind act makes the world a better place every single smile improves the whole universe every single time you say hello to someone or say how can i help you and you just help every time you read a book to a child or you give your time to someone that is feeling lonely and looking for a connection changes the world, changes the whole universe in a better way. So yeah, that was a rather shorter podcast today. Nevertheless, it's not less important. It's only these little small acts, like just doing this podcast. If it resonates with one of you and it helps you to recognize the importance of the little things you do, so you continue to do them, this podcast is improving the world. So thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for reviewing the podcast. And I would love for you to support my work if you can. Head over to my website and the link at the top says Patreon. If you become one of the patrons, you'll get a shout out on my show. And thank you to Mo, my first patron. And hopefully many more will add to you. Just $4 a month will really make a difference. Thank you. Take care. And I will see you next week for the next podcast. Bye.